everybody, welcome back out to Superstition Mountain. Hope you're having an awesome Masters week. My favorite week of the year. What about you, Henry? Do you like the Masters? Pretty cool. <laughs> it's, I love the Masters. It's just like, cool. it's like Christmas for me. Too bad I'm not going to get to see a whole lot of it. But we thought we'd bring a few scenarios that the guys are going through that are playing in the Masters. So here, we're standing on a slope. And to give you an example of how severe this slope is, if I spread my feet out like this, my right foot is how much higher than my left one here, Henry? Well, I would say it's a few inches at least. So that's pretty right. severe. This is probably comparable to like number 13. 13 in Augusta, you got your dog leg left, par 5. And the thing about that hole is, you know, they're usually approach shots. They're hitting anywhere from hybrid to 8, 9 iron. Some like Bubba's hitting it over the corner. But you also have your wedge shots. Mm -hmm. And those wedge shots are pretty tricky off those lies. Yeah, so why are they so tricky off that lie? Well, with a wedge, with it having more loft, these, these clubs are actually affected more by this slope than the longer clubs. Oh, for sure. Let's show everybody kind of why that would be. So right. when the face is, when the shaft is at normal height, you can see the loft on that face would be aiming fairly straight. Yeah, so now if, if, I, we, if I lay this basically what would be a flat lie angle. Mm -hmm. Now if I drop the hosel to or sorry, the handle to where this would actually lay on the ground. You can see that that face is now pointing left. Yeah. The more I drop it, right, it would be more. The farther left, left the loft aims, right? Right. And the, vice versa, if you raise the handle, the, right. the the loft is going to aim slightly to the right. Right. Now that's harder to do. It's really hard in a golf swing to actually get the loft aim to the right unless you open the face. Right. Okay. So in this scenario, that ball is going to be, if you set up normal, the ball is going to be a couple inches, almost ankle high. Yep. So your loft's going to aim some amount to the yeah. to the left. So especially with these wedges, I want to make sure if I'm going to uh, like play the the curvature that I should aim a little bit right of this hole. For sure. Yep. So how much right would you aim if you were hitting it at this pin? Well, I mean, just from my experience, I, I mean, I guess it's a little different for everybody, but I, we do have a little wind off the left. But I'm still probably going to aim about right edge of the green here, so it's about 20 feet right of the flag. That sounds about right. So let's see, you, let's see you execute one. Okay. So the other thing I might do is just grip down a little bit, you know, just because if I had it at full length, theoretically my club would be a couple inches below this ball. Would you take the normal club as well? So let, how far are we right here? Uh, we got about 125 of the pin. So from 125, what is that normally for you? It's about a sand wedge. So a nice solid, a big sand wedge? Yeah. So are you going to hit a full sand wedge or would you take like an extra club and grip down on it a little bit? I'm still going to take sand wedge here with it being a, you know, a front pin, but um, definitely I, if I was gripping down enough, I might, I might take one extra club. Yeah, so if this, severe, if this slope was slightly more severe, it would definitely influence me into taking another club and yep. gripping down a little bit. Yeah. But if I'm just going to play this, what this, li this Y is telling me it's going to do, curve to the left, you know, I'm going to aim out to the right a little bit pick a spot that is lined up where I want it, you know, right edge of the green, grip down a little bit and just see that little draw into the hole. You see that wind is going to hold it, isn't it? Yeah, wind is holding it. It's a canceling wind. So it went right at the right edge and stayed there. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't judge the wind correctly, but still tried to draw. I mean, it was, I hit it well. It was a definite draw. It would have gotten all the way to the flag if we didn't have 10 miles an hour of wind out of the left. Right. Henry, sometimes when we we wind up on a side hill lie like this, we can't hit the draw. We can't let it draw. We have to actually fight it. What are some secrets to do that? Oh well, yeah, I mean, if you got a tree here or, or a back right pin and you still want to be aggressive and don't want to hook one in there, one thing I do is I'll actually get sort of my weight more up on my toes, especially my right heel, I'll pick it up. So if you think about like a skier who's turning right, carving into the slope, their weight's not down the slope like this. They're fighting it, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of like that. And what this does is it gets the handle up a little bit, and now the lie angle's more, more level yeah. versus being level with the slope. Awesome. So that's a pretty cool trick, being able to get this, this trail heel kind of up. And you're going to feel tall, right, when you do that? Right. This is something Lee Trevino talked about. And you'll see guys at the Masters that with a longer club in their hand, they actually do sometimes cut it into that hole on 13 
or off those different lines because at Augusta, it's not, there's no one hole that's flat there. No, it's, so, a, it's not a flat golf course. You'll so. see sometimes they'll play with a slope, you'll see sometimes they'll fight it. Cool. So, so let's see you fight it once. Yeah, so I'm gonna aim, now I'm going to aim a little left of the hole, especially now that we know that wind is out of the left too. Now I'm going to try to just hit a little cut in there. And you see my, my right heel's off the ground. Oh, he did it awesome. Okay. Oh, go in. Oh. <laughs> Stacked it in there. Good shot. Thanks. So I think you're better off of uneven lies than you're off of good ones. Nice flat lies. This is definitely true. Awesome. Yep. So if you like this video, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified when new videos are up. And don't forget to check out MiloLinesGolf.com. Check out what we're doing there. Get an analysis from us. We've got some great content there. We would love to have you over. So, And we'll see you again next time. Thanks, Henry.